Hi guys. I'm going to try and do a bit of comparative analysis here. I'm going to run this car with these sponge foam wheels on it, which I don't like. And then I'm going to change the wheels for these old-fashioned vinyl records and see which gives us the best performance. What I'll try and do is superimpose the two video runs on top of each other so we can get some sort of comparison. So we need to get them to run more or less exactly the same direction so we can superimpose it. So I'll use the floor as a marker to line it up. Okay, now I'll go and do another run changing the wheels. Now I've changed the wheels, we've now got these old vinyl records. I've used the same axles, which is why it sticks out quite a long way on either side, so I can swap them back if necessary. But we'll give this a try now. Because I don't think I'll have the same problem with wheel spin, I've actually taken the lead weights off. So this car is now at least 11 ounces lighter. I probably don't need to wind the rubber band up as far either. did get a bit of wheel spin at the beginning there. Haven't wound it up quite so much this time because I don't think I need as much power. Uh, easily did the distance. No problem at all. OK, summary time. Same car as last night, same chassis made out of uh, flower canes, same axles, flower canes again, same rubber bands. Used it with the sponge foam tyres first and then I've swapped them out to these good old fashioned vinyl records, singles or 45s, whatever you want to call them. And I think if you study that bit of video where I've superimposed one on top of the other, you'll see quite clearly that small wheels give you good acceleration, but it ran out of steam. It actually stopped not far inside my hallway. Whereas the vinyl wheels, the records, started slower, needed less power, but it overtook the sponge wheels and carried on to the end easily. So it's a matter of what you need to do in your project. If you need distance then you're probably better off with larger wheels. It takes a bit of time to get going but once they're going they keep running. You've got the momentum keeping them going forwards. Whereas if you want fast acceleration then smaller wheels are going to be better. So the old phrase is you pay your money and take your choice.